Hey Capricorn, <clears throat> I planned on doing this earlier, but my power went out. So um, we're going to go ahead and do your weekly reading. It's going to be the 13th or the 20th. So anytime this week, um, it's going to be a general reading. So just make sure that you understand general means that it may not resonate with you and it may not happen now. It's just something that's building up towards that. So for the week, these are things that you may or may not actually deal with. Also, uh, everyone has free will, so people can change their mind. Um, and that includes you. Also, my website is active. <laughs> I keep saying that. My website is active, but you cannot purchase through the website because I made I purchased the wrong plan. So if you go in there, you'll see what type of uh, readings I offer. And you can go ahead and uh, be able to contact me through my email if you're wa wanting to purchase a personal reading. So let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to start off with an Oracle card. I have not used these in a minute. So I kind of want to read, read it to you. So we're going to get it out. I'm over here eating my cookie, cake batter cookie. You know what? I'm just going to free, I'm going to free, uh, free hand or whatever they call it. I try to be quick in my weekly, so hopefully I get it done in like 15 minutes or less. All right, so what do you have for us when it comes to Capricorn for the week? 13, 15, 1st. All right, Capricorn, so you guys got plant the seeds. So this is about you putting in your work or putting in work or putting in efforts where you see fit. Um, a lot of you are planning a lot of things that are not going to be seen right now. So this could be you guys putting out applications, um, getting out there and starting a date. <coughs> And it's something that's going to grow over time. It's not going to be something that's going to happen instantly. So this is kind of a reminder that whatever it is that you want, you have to put into it in order to see it grow. So that's, you know, perfect for you guys. And I'm saying you guys, I'm one too, but you know. Um, inspiration and courage. So some of you are inspired. This is at the bottom. Some of you are inspired by certain things that are going on around you. Um, and you're needing to be courageous. It's a kind of like a lot of passion is what I'm seeing with this. So there's something that you're passionate about, but I'm also getting that you might have to let something go. So you are needing to seek that courage within to let something go that is like not inspiring you, not benefiting you. Um, a lot of you have already put in enough, uh, going back to the plant the seeds. A lot of you have already planted the seeds and it's like you got a dud. It's like something that's not working. So you're going to have to keep it moving. So let's see what is going on. Look, secret love child and ex. So some of you are going to have to let an ex go or someone that you really cared about. Look, ancestor messages here. Because this person is hiding secrets from you. This person is, um, they're stuck. They're stuck in their ways. So I feel like a lot of you are needing to plant seeds elsewhere, put in your effort and your time into other things, because at this point, I feel like a lot of you are wasting your time when it comes to this individual. Like some of you have new relationships coming forward. So it's kind of like you have to let, look, you have to let this ex go or this past person go in order to get to that new relationship. Look, you guys are single and ready to mingle. Like, a lot of you are really giving up. It's like you guys may be dealing with something that you put so much into and no one never caught it. This person, individual, did not catch it. What is Capricorn? So, wasting time. I'm getting a lot of wasting time. But this, <laughs> we have family secrets. That was not trying to come out. We have same-sex relationships. 
and we have sexually frustrated. <laughs> so, let me before I get into that, let me get to the bottom here. Uh, we have they got more game than the NBA. So I feel like this is a ex person. The reason why this is at the bottom, this person's a player. It's like they know how to play the game even if they're sloppy with it it's kind of like you are picking up on the fact that this person is not going to change they're going to continue to be the same person that they always have been which is someone that needs others to make them feel good that's what a player is it's somebody that is unable to love themselves so they find others that can love them and worship them is what i'm getting um so with this family secrets a lot of you are about to put to rest childhood wounds things that have happened in your past that have either secretly been within you like say you know just family situations some of you may have not expressed the fact that you know you didn't have a dad a mother and it's kind of like you just went through life but a lot of you are going to face those secrets or something that's happened to you in your past so that way you can be able to move on um so you're trying to have healthy boundaries um planning for your future by dealing with your past if that makes sense um for this same sex relationship so some of you could be coming out as a lesbian or gay whatever the case is um that could be something that you were holding from your family or keeping a secret from your family also, some of you are just falling in love with yourself, realizing that you have multiple things. You're the same person, but you can do multiple things. You don't have to be stuck on just one one direction. And then with this sexually frustrated, some of you are not having sex. <laughs> I mean, that's the truth. Um, but also what I'm getting from this is that a lot of you just want someone to love you. Like that's strongly coming out. And it's like you're working on loving yourself, getting old, rid of your childhood wounds or focusing on your childhood wounds. Um, but I really feel like strongly a lot of you are becoming lonely. Like that's what this uh, sexually frustrated card is also showing me. It's like you guys are done or tired of spending so much time on your own, you know, by yourself. And so it's like, dang, when is it going to be my turn? So I feel like a lot of you are seeing that you're doing, you're doing your part. So that goes back to the plant the seeds. A lot of you are doing your part, wanting to be better individuals, trying to work on yourself, loving yourself. And it's like, you're still alone. You're wondering like, why am I still alone? And I have all these like positive things going on. So... <clears throat> Yeah, a lot of you are strong. Some people are not strong enough to be single. Because it's like somebody has to always jump into another relationship. Or have someone on waiting. Let's go on the Capricorn. Let's see. All right, so woman holding a heart. And this flipped out in the reverse, but I don't read these in reverse. So we have the woman holding a heart. What else for Capricorn? We have door to personal healing and happiness. I just said that earlier about you guys, you know, going through your childhood wounds and facing them for once, like not letting it overshadow or trying to hide it all tied up so a lot of you are kind of in your own way every time i see the all tied up it's like you're trying to protect yourself from getting hurt um which we have this woman holding a heart it's like a lot of you are very nurturing um loving caring and it's like you're working on yourself you're doing everything that you need to to be a better person for yourself and it's like you are now at a point where you want a companion you want to share this with somebody and so I feel like a lot of you are scared in some ways, um, trying to protect yourself. That's really what that's about. And look, at the bottom, we have cornucopia. So like I said, a lot of you are really doing what you need to do. 
We have action here. We have victory. So yeah, a lot of you are doing what you need to do. You're on the right path. You're focusing on yourself, planting these seeds that you want, manifesting what it is that you want. And it's going to take some time. This uh, reading is kind of a lot about you. I feel like a lot of you are at that point now where it's like, okay, <clears throat> I'm still working on myself, but I think I'm ready to bring someone else into it. So we have the seven of wands in the reverse. So a lot of you are letting your guard down. <laughs> I laugh because that's funny. <clears throat> a lot of you are letting your guard down. <clears throat> I didn't say that right. Oh my gosh. Letting your guard down. Um, with this all tied up, you guys are still trying to protect yourself. You're afraid to open up to others, but I do feel like you are slowly doing that because it's like once you heal yourself, you're more able to understand the world around you. So say if you're dating, you'll understand when someone's bullshitting or when they're not being honest or truthful. So it's like you are healing within in order to express yourself on the outside. Damn, that's a lot. So we have the... Um, Nine of Wands in reverse. I'm sorry, Six of Wands in reverse. <laughs> so a lot of you are feeling like you're not victorious. Like things are not going your way. I felt that earlier. Like I really feel like this is surrounding a partnership or some type of counterpart. A lot of you feel like, hey, I need to let my guard down. Let me start doing that. But you still feel like that's not enough. And this could be about a specific person because the ex kept coming up in here. Um, but yeah, you guys don't feel like you would win. Like you wouldn't, you're not at the place right now where you feel like you're victorious. Because it's like you're doing all this other stuff for yourself. But you still don't have anybody to share it with. Page of Cups in reverse. Emperor in reverse. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Like, a lot of you are feeling like it's not enough. We have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Now, I know y'all money not messed up with it. Because, you know. Okay, I was about to say, we have Ace of Pentacles here. You guys have a lot to offer. You're very stable. And you have the Empress in reverse. <clears throat> At the bottom, we have the Nine of Cups. So a lot of you are single. <laughs> like I had said, I'm getting that a lot with this. A lot of you are single. It's frustrating you because it's like you want to have a family. You want to be able to share your love and your light with other people. But it's like, I don't know if there's a specific person here that is making you feel like you're not good enough, that... You know, you can't offer this stuff because you have the Page of Cups in reverse and the Emperor in reverse. So some of you could be actually talking to or dealing with someone that is just like not seeing the signs. Like, hello, I'm I'm the perfect person for you. Um, the Emperor in reverse is somebody that is selfish and they take advantage. They're not that confident person that you think of with an Emperor. This is somebody that's selfish and they take advantage of what they can this person doesn't offer a lot they keep things to themselves and i feel like that makes a lot of you feel that this person and actually this isn't even about you guys this ten of pentacles in reverse and this eight of pentacles in reverse this person that you guys have on your mind this emperor in reverse this person has no money they're not stable they're not working so it's like you guys are kind of dod dodging a bullet here this person um, is wanting money. They want the stability, but you guys already have that. This is what this Ace of Pentacles is coming out as. You know, Earth signs are stable. That's what they're known, known for. Not all of them may not be like that, but Earth signs are known for being stable. And then we have this Empress in reverse. So it's like either you guys are turning cold or this is somebody or other people towards you. They're not being nurturing or caring. It's like, what can you give me? It's all about them. And that's why a lot of you are single. It's not because you're not attractive or that you don't have these things. It's because people 
know that you're on a different level and they can't treat you a certain way. Cards and Empress in reverse here. Oops. Yeah, so we have the Fool. And that's clarifying the Empress in reverse. So this is somebody in your inner circle, if it's not you, which I don't think it is, they always want what they want. They go after what it is that they want. They want you to do what, what they want. But when it comes to you, they're not offering you that love and nurturing that you give to them. So it's basically like you're doing more than the other party. That's an important offer. Yeah, so we have the Ace of Wands in reverse, and that's clarifying the Emperor in reverse. So this person is very like selfish is why I keep getting they don't have any because the ace of wands is about passion creativity this person doesn't have any passion they do what they want when they want to do it it's like the world has to revolve around them so I feel like a lot of you yeah this person's not moving with this chariot in reverse I feel like a lot of you are needing to distance yourself from this person and I feel like that's like a hard decision for you but I do feel that good things are going to be coming in because you are planting those seeds and that could also be planting boundaries or having boundaries with people instead of just doing everything that they say or responding to them so quickly maybe you're taking a little bit of time because you know that your heart is delicate and you don't want to get into a situation where you become codependent on somebody so Damn, this is all about you guys <laughs> this week. I'm sorry. It's just what I see. So Capricorn, if this made sense to you guys, please let me know. This is like the lowest I've talked. It's kind of crazy. But if you guys <laughs> like that, please let me know. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.